Northwestern Wildcats, you see the season outlook for them. They did lose a couple big players in the transfer portal, but still in the top three in the Big Ten in terms of returning minutes. Added a big as well in the portal and return a veteran backcourt. We've got two of them here, Chase Adige and Boo Booey. You see the those two <laughs> along with their teammate Robbie Barron as well. Earlier today with Coach Collins, they are ready for Big Ten Media Days and they are joining me right now again chase and boo great to have you guys chris great to see you again uh last year towards the end of the season it felt like it came together you won six of your last 12 against conference opponents how can you carry some of that momentum forward we'll hopefully draw upon some of those experiences um you know we were kicking ourselves because we felt like we had a team that was competitive with pretty much everybody in the league and we had 11 losses five points or less you know and you know that's the fine line in this league of of really being a tournament team versus kind of being to the middle or bottom of the tier in the conference so you know you lean on these guards you know i got two guards here that have been three and four year starters you hope that the experience that they've gone through they've been really good players in this league we returned five of our top seven scorers from last year and and hopefully the continuity and experience uh will will help us as we go into this year you know it's interesting and chase and boo i'm interested in both of your guys takes on this i was talking about this with coach collins and there are so many teams here where there are a lot of unknown commodities yep. i mean you guys have played countless minutes on the court together yeah. what does it mean to have that familiarity with one another i think it means everything just being so comfortable with the guys we have I've seen me and Boo have been at Northwestern playing together for the past three years, so it's definitely, you know, good knowing that, you know, my point guard, you know, knows where I like the ball, I know where he likes the ball, and us really learning how to play off each other in these past couple of years, and I think, you know, adding the young guys in and, and the, pe the players come back from last year, I think it's something really special, and as you said, like, the league's so new this year, so I can't even tell you who's who, but just knowing who I got on my team is, is what's most important. How about from your point of view, Boo? Yeah, just so just going off of that, you know, just be, having a veteran backcourt is huge, for, especially for the young guys. You know, Chase and I have been through the ropes. We played over 100 games at this level. So, you know, when when we're in these moments or see situations that the young guys encounter, you know, we kind of try to guide them through those through those tough moments that they might know. Uh, yeah, we're just really excited for this year, though. Yeah, that being said, I mean, obviously you guys are need to get better, right? I mean, to, to reach your goal. So in what ways do you feel like you have improved and this team has improved? Yeah, so I've, I've, uh, I've been taking a real, real big step in leadership, uh, leading with my voice. I've kind of always been a guy who kind of led by action. But over the years, I've kind of tried to change into, you know, leading by example and with my voice uh, because – me being one of the best players on the team, you know, guys listen to me. And, and when coach is always the one talking, you know, it kind of gets a little, a little repetitive. So, you know, you need a, you need a coach on the, you need a coach on the floor to keep everyone engaged. And, you know, that's, that's the type of player I've been trying to become and just lead, these, lead my team and just lead the young guys and just showing them the way. Coach Collins, your rebuttal. <laughs> they better like hearing my voice because I am the one who puts them in and out of the games. But, yeah. no, Boo is right. I mean, yeah. the, the great coaches always say, you know, it's when you have player-led teams, right. those are the ones that have a chance to really do something because they're the ones out there playing. And we try to guide them as coaches. But in the moment, in the heat of battle, in those tight games, they need to be the ones to kind of get together and say this is what we need to do to win. You guys, uh, you and I have talked about this a lot, and, and you did lose. I mean, we saw the, the names of the players that you lost coming out, Pete Nance and Ryan Young. I mean, that, that is what it is in college yeah. basketball. And as you said, you got five of your top seven back. But the front court is yeah. the question mark. So – Give us a sense of how that group is coming together. Yeah, I mean, there's they're, they're going to be guys that really haven't been thrust in those roles. I mean, really, the last three years, you've had Pete and Ryan kind of man in the up front, the minutes, the the production, and those guys were terrific players for us. So, you know, we don't expect any of our guys, whether it be Titus Verhoeven, who's a transfer from UTEP, Matt Nicholson, who's a young big guy who really hasn't had a chance to play a lot, playing in those guys' shadow. We have a freshman in Luke Hunger that we really like. So, you know, the, nobody's going to really do what Pete did or do what Ryan did, but can they collectively play to their strengths? Can they give us physicality? Can they defend? Can they rebound? Can they be opportunistic offensively and help complement what we feel is our strength, which is our backcourt? Yeah, so what are the strengths of those guys? Give us a sense of their games. Well, in Matt Nicholson, he's 7'1", 270 pounds. So when you play against Zach Eady and Trace Jackson Davis right. and Hunter Dickinson and Cliff Omiuri and, and all those guys in the league, like you need physicality. You need big guys. 
you know, I think he gives us that physical presence. Um, Titus Verhoeven is a guy, he's been a three-year starter. He's 23 years old. He's a six-year senior. Uh, he's a terrific defender. He's a very mobile big guy. And Luke Hunger is a very skilled big. You know, he can pick and pop. He can make threes. Very skilled, inside-out type of big guy. So we feel like the collection of those guys can really complement what we have on the perimeter. And hopefully the minutes they'll get early in the year will help them really be ready for when we get to conference play. So those are some of the unfamiliar names, I think, for a lot of people or less familiar. But what about guys who were on the team last year, Chase? Who do you think is taking a big jump of your returning teammates? Man, depends how much time we got, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> we got time. Brooks Barnheiser, one that jumps out to mind right now, he's had a great offseason. I think he's really took a step with his confidence, just his leadership and just his impact, I think. you know, uh, He's really going to be special. I think Ty Berry, he's been shooting the lights out in practice. He's a guy who you know had some ups and downs through his career at Northwestern last year. You know, he was starting and then you know got to his starting position taken but then I think he really responded well you know I think a lot of people in that situation would have won a different type of route but he was so positive and you know I'm, I'm proud of him as a teammate and just even as a person just how far he's come uh, Robbie Barron I think Robbie when Robbie's good we're good to be honest his energy his defense when he's hitting shots I think that's some that really can take us over the edge as a team and I mean I could go down the list like as coach said Matt Nicholson his improvement I, over the summer like if I could give an MVP award it would be to Matt Nicholson just his energy how much he's gotten better listening to coaches listening to teammates and uh, I'm excited I'm excited I think everybody's really taking a step in what they need to do with toughness mentally physically and I think this year is going to be one to show for us. You made some interesting changes in your staff Brian McIntosh now a full-time assistant coach which I think is pretty cool <laughs> for those who know the the history of the program. You brought in Chris Lowry as well, someone I know pretty well from his time at, at SIU and really an experienced head coach. Tell me about those changes and, and what those mean to your staff. Yeah, I think at the end of every year as a head coach, you evaluate, you know, kind of where you're at, you know, what, where do you need help? Where can you be better? Um, you know, I felt like it was the right time for Brian. He'd been in our program as a VO coordinator. Um, you know, these guys being older players now, he was the guy that, that led a team to what we're trying to achieve. And for him at his age to be in his late 20s, but to be able to bring the knowledge onto the floor, his energy, that youth, um, adding a guy like Chris Lowry, who's been a head coach, he's taken teams to the NCAA tournament. He was with Coach Weber for 10 years at Kansas State. They did great things in the Big 12. You know, adding those two guys' voices to, to an already strong staff, in my opinion, has only made us better. Uh, with with the backcourt, you guys last year, it felt like at times struggled a little bit with shot selection. What's kind of the, what's the balancing act of being aggressive, but but knowing when's the right time to, to kind of pull it back? Yeah, so, you know, as Chase and I have played together and just continue to play together, we've, we've started to figure each other out and, you know, where, where we like the ball and when. So, I mean, I just say shot selection and, and, and always really making the right play. Like, so when I when I have the ball, I'm always trying to make the right play, whether that be me shooting it, passing it, or whatever. But, you know, if I have two on me, and that means the ball needs to, that there's an open man and the ball needs to be swung. So, and as long as someone's making a shot, that means we're all scoring. So that's that's been the real focus this year, just getting the best shot every possession. Chase, what about from your point of view? Yeah, I think Boo hit it right in the head. Uh, I think I did a – I've really tried to make an emphasis on moving the ball. You know, when I got two people on me or even just, you know, seeing a help defender step over, really moving against an open guy. And I think learning over the years, like, it's not about, you know, my shot. It's a team shot. You know, it's about making a right play. And I think, you know, last year I've done a much better job, but looking forward to this year to continuing that and continue to make those right plays. All right, Chase Adige, Boo Booey, Chris Collins, great to see you guys. Thank, right, thanks, Dave. Thank you. Have a really good year.